This video is designed to guide you through the steps necessary to connect Business Central and Dynamics 365 sales. Now there's some preliminary steps for us in pre-sales uh, and how to ensure we've got good demo data. So I'll walk you through that to begin before we go and do the connection. I also want to point out there are a number of supporting documents to help guide you through the process on docs.microsoft.com. So if you want some additional context beyond this video, I would encourage you to visit this website. Also, in terms of the standard mapping and entities, it's also good to understand the differences in technology or um, the terminology. As you can see on the left-hand side, the terms that are leveraged inside of Business Central, such as unit of measure, item, resource. Whereas in Dynamics 365 sales, those entities, or those, I should say, instances map to the word unit group or product. So it's important for you as you're integrating the applications to just understand uh, the references and how we're using them and how the integration is going to map. So for example, as we're mapping products from sales, it's considered a resource or an item inside of Business Central. So again, this is also posted on docs.microsoft.com. There's also a reference just to understand the rules that you need to take into consideration when you are coupling the record. So this table on the screen provides just details about the rules that control the synchronization between Dynamics 365 Sales and Business Central. And these are in addition to the rules that are defined for uh, Dataverse. Also, I just want to make sure that you are in your demo environments using the most current uh, version. So you can always go to the Administration Center and then uh, in this time of the recording, I'm using version 20.3. Uh, this is, you can see when I last updated my demonstration environment. Also, something new, if you're not familiar with uh, feature management, uh, there are some features uh, as we uh, release features prior to rolling them into a production environment. Uh, there's feature management where you can go in and enable certain features uh, into that before so you can test it. Uh, I highlighted the ones here on the screens that will impact your uh, instance in the way we connect them. So one is the currency symbol mapping in data uh, verse. Uh, so again, make sure that you enable that. You'll click on this column enable and then you'll see on the right side if it's installed or enabled. Same thing for the, again, feature map, uh, map to option sets the new sales pricing experience, and then also the multiple units. Also, I mentioned about the data cleanliness and the sanitization. Uh, when you set up Dynamics 365 Sales and Business Central, if you're familiar with one or both, you'll know they have unique sample data. So obviously this is gonna be different than a production environment if you're a consultant looking to educate yourself on a brand new instance or environment where it has no data. So just kind of quickly look at, again, the customers here. You can see we have a datum, Trey Research, School of Fine Art, Alpine Ski House, et cetera. If I open Dynamics 365 Sales and I go into, again, what we call customers, it's referred to as accounts. You'll see here, right, they've got a, a much different sample set. So one of the items of advice I have in the workshops that I host. Uh, often at times I'll advise partners to go into the settings, go to your advanced settings and under data management, you can remove the sample data so that you are working with a, a clean environment. And again, I recognize in some of your instances that you have built up your Dynamics 365 sales and you don't want to remove that. That's fine, it doesn't impact the environments per se, I just as I think about how we're demonstrating this connected environment, I want to show that here you can see I don't have any active accounts. Uh, if I go over down to the bottom to quotes, you can see I don't have any quotes. So again, 
Uh, just wanted to provide you with kind of an understanding of how to have clean data. Also, I mentioned earlier, how do I enable those new features inside of Business Central? If you could select on Alt-Q or you do the global search, you'll search on feature management, and then I'll highlight the, the key ones that I want to make sure that you have enabled, uh, again, for all of your users. So again, there's some of the ones in this demo tenant. In terms of configuring the integration, uh, what I want to make sure you know is that you do have to go through and set up uh, Dataverse first. So what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll set up Dataverse connection. I'll test the connection, then I'll run the full sync. And then we'll do the same for Dynamics 365 sales. So again, just want to make sure you'll understand that we're going to do. So first, we'll go into Business Central. And on the top right corner under settings, I'm going to leverage the assisted setup. I've got all of the areas collapsed to the titles so that I can just focus on the connecting with other systems. You'll notice here, first I'll start with a connection to Dataverse. I'll enable the synchronization. I'll select next. I'll accept the terms and choose next. Business Central will recognize you've got a couple of different environments. I'll choose the one that's directly tied to uh, my tenant. And then I'll sign in with my administrative user. Select next. That'll take a moment or two for it to get ready. Once it's ready, you've got a couple of different options. Uh, depending on the environments that you're running, you may want to complete this without synchronization. Uh, this is what I would recommend. Just what this means is I can run through Dataverse and the four entities that we're going to bring over first. Uh, but then, again, I don't have to do a full synchronization if I don't want to, but the next step would be to do the full sync when I'm connecting to Dynamics 365 sales. You can leave the ownership model. It's either team or user. I leave it as team. And then you can review the synchronization model. Now, just a, a point of, just a caveat here. Again, this is set up where I can go in and select the coupling criteria for us if we already have sample data in Business Central and sales, I will need to select on each one of these and basically have a, a master key ID to connect the two. If you're a consultant and you're working in a brand new environment or instance, you can leave that alone. So again, for those of us in a pre-sales environment using these demos and you have demo data, you will need to go in and make the recommendation on the coupling criteria. And then once I'm done, I can, I can choose with or without the sync. I'll go ahead and run that. And then when I'm done, I'll hit finish. And notice the wizard, uh, again, sets up many of those features for us already. Uh, and then if I wanna go into the connection, I'll select test connection and choose okay. Then I'll come into the synchronization here and I'll hit the run full sync. And again, I can do the sync all. Uh, or again, as I mentioned to you earlier, you can come in here and make that connection. Uh, for those of us who are in these demo environments, I did need to go in and have a match priority. Uh, so you'll need to go and select for each one of the fields on that list below. Then when you're ready and you've made those selections, you'll select yes. And then you'll go ahead and run that full sync. And if you hit refresh, uh, again, you'll, you'll start to see the job queues awake, and eventually you'll get a, a finished uh, window here on the full sync. Once I'm done, you can see then I'll have the accounts that were in Business Central now come over into Dynamics 365 sales. Next, what I'm going to do is once I've run that sync, Right, I'm gonna go ahead and now run that sync for Dynamics 365 sales. So I'll come out of this screen here and let's go ahead and finish that out. So then on the assisted setup, you'll set up the sales connection, you'll select next. Should remember to sign you in, you'll consent and then go ahead and finish. Same thing, you could do the alt Q search to find Dynamics 365 connection setup. 
And then from here, I again, always test the connection. Looks good. And then if I come here into the synchronization and I run the full sync, you'll see again those entities that were initially run for just Dataverse, which was contact, currency, customer, and vendor. Now I'm bringing in the additional entities here. I'll select yes and then have success in running this. If you want to see a little more of the details behind it, you go ahead and select under mapping. And the integration table mapping is usually where uh, you know, a lot of you are interested in those tables between the mappings. Uh, so you can see the table name uh, and then the filters and then the integration field, right? Same thing, if you click on the fields, you can see what we're mapping from and to. And that just is under the field mapping list. So this is on display if you want to see the demonstrations on how this works once you've got this configured. In the Partner Sales Demo Playbook, you'll find this either in the quote cash demo or inside of the role-based demonstration for the sales representative.